Today we're talking about Moonfall, Roland Emmerich's newest disaster movie starring the likes of Patrick Wilson and Halle Berry. When the moon gets knocked out of orbit and civilization only has three weeks to figure out how to avoid an apocalyptic collision, two astronauts and one conspiracy theorist go on a mission into outer space to save the world. It's been a couple of years since Roland Emmerich's last movie came to theaters midway, not a good movie, but I was looking forward to Moonfall because Roland Emmerich brings back what he's known for most, a disaster movie. His last true apocalyptic movie was 2012. If you want to count Independence Day Resurgence, you can, I guess, but I don't because that's more of an alien movie. I was looking forward to this movie, though. Like all disaster movies, 2012 is a massive guilty pleasure of mine. I've seen that movie probably more times than I should have. Now you know, it's out there in the open. I've seen 2012 way too many times. And The Day After Tomorrow still stands as my favorite disaster movie of all time. In my opinion, it's not just a good disaster movie, it's a good movie in general and is one of my favorite movies to this day. I never understood the notion of going into these movies expecting you're going to hate it because of how unrealistic they are. Just walk into the movies and have a good time. They're not meant to be realistic. They're just there for pure entertainment. That's what all of these movies are supposed to do for you. Moonfall, while a Again, isn't a very good movie like most of Roland Emmerich's disaster films, is a flick you can have tons of fun with if you throw out the unrealistic aspect of it, as well as forget about how stupid the movie is because, of course, it is one of the dumbest movies I've ever seen. That was expected. This movie goes in the box of mindless entertainment. There is not a single thing you care about in this movie. No characters mean anything to you. But who cares? Nobody is going to see Moonfall this weekend for character development or for a lesson in science. I certainly didn't. The only reason I was there watching Moonfall was to see the world and moon collide. I wanted to see cities get destroyed, and they did. Outside of the entertainment factor, that's my only positive for Moonfall because the majority of this movie is terrible. It's one of Roland Emmerich's newest additions to his pile of garbage and filmography, and you know what? I highly doubt he cared about making a good movie. Nobody involved in the making of Moonfall actually cared. All they wanted was a paycheck and to have at least some entertainment for people. The acting is uninspired. The movie takes itself too seriously. Also, the structure of Moonfall is odd. The first 30 minutes or so take a while to build up to the eventual collision course between the moon and the earth. And then all of a sudden, about a few minutes after that, it's like, we're all in, it's happening right now, and there's no time to breathe in between. And even then, the movie does not spend enough time on the disaster itself. Instead, for about 60% of the movie, it focuses on how to solve this problem. And during those scenes, we spend way too much time with the characters who we do not give a rat's ass about. We don't care about anything going on in this movie other than the disaster. That's all we want to see, and for some reason, all they want to show us is everything but the disaster until the last 30-40 minutes. But the weirdest thing about Moonfall is how the movie delves into the creation of humanity. It gets very cosmological, which I'll admit that did take me by surprise. The final 20 minutes is all about this stuff. I did not see that coming. It was so weird. Roland Emmerich has never done anything like that before. Usually Roland Emmerich just sticks to the disaster, but they try to go too deep for my liking and it felt like a Matrix ripoff. Just think of the Matrix mixed with a disaster movie, mixed with a science fiction movie, and that's exactly what Moonfall is. But I did not even get into the worst aspect of Moonfall. You all saw this coming. This is one of the dumbest movies I have ever seen in my entire life. Moonfall makes 2012 look smart. There's only one way I can describe the stupidity of Moonfall. There's literally a scene in this movie where the moon is getting close to the earth, the ground is breaking apart, all these pieces are levitating, these massive pieces from the ground, and the characters drive through this disaster, go off a ramp, land on this massive piece that is levitating from the ground, and bounce off of it onto the other side safely. That's about as dumb as a movie could ever get. Moonfall
Moonfall is not meant to be a great movie. It's not even meant to be a good movie. It's just there for pure entertainment. Everything in this movie is bad, but at least when the disaster is happening on the screen, it's entertaining and fun. So I'm going to be a little generous with the score and give Moonfall a 50%. I enjoyed myself watching Moonfall during the wreckage. I'll give this movie the benefit of the doubt and say it is better than Geostorm. That film barely focused at all on the storm and more so about how these characters are going to solve the problem. I also never asked after watching one of these movies, is the science accurate? Is the science accurate in Moonfall? I have no idea. I'm not a scientist. I know nothing about the science in this movie. Is it just mumbo jumbo? I would not be surprised if it was. All right, for those of you who have also seen Moonfall, be sure to let me down below in the comment section what your thoughts are of it. And of course, as always, if you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you all have a fantastic day.